What's up everybody? Welcome to another Let's Play Adventure on the Feed the Beast Infinity Pack. And I hope y'all enjoy yourselves today and y'all had a great day. But today, I'm going off a little bit. Enough of this building stuff. Time to go and play with a mod. And the mod we're going to play with today is Botanica, people. Yes, Botanica. And before I do that, I just wanted to show this room is completely done. I got some inverted lamps up there, which I can look up real quick for y'all in case y'all want to know. Inverted lamps. Yep, this is pretty much how you make them. And it took me a while to get all that because I needed bone meal. Also, for the floors to get rid of the torches, I use covers with nooks. And let's see if I can find one. Which this is probably not going to be easy. It's got to be an easy way to do this. There it is. No. No, that's different. But, yeah. There we go, right there. So if I remove this, there's a glowstone nook right there that puts out the light. And then the light just goes through the cover. So... And this room is all lit up and you don't even have to see those torches everywhere now I did the same thing for the AE manufacturing room as you can see I finished it pretty much just gotta finish getting the little lights up there and looks like I need one block right there then I actually started on the third floor where the steam power is gonna go in and apparently there's some water somewhere over there. I can hear it. But yep, using the fancy filler in the clear mode and I fell down. And it's in the clear mode. And I stole the two steam engines from the quarry because the quarry's finished. And I just placed them over here, loaded this chest up with some. And that's why that bad boy's just shooting crazy. So yep, that's all I pretty much did in between episodes. And I think today we take a break from it all and dive into Botanica. I think that will be a pretty cool mod. I kind of like it. It's pretty much magic and flowers. And there's nothing wrong with liking flowers, people. Let's see, I got the book that I made earlier. But to make the book, it's just pretty much just the regular book with a sapling all right the first very thing you need to do with botanica let's see you need to make one of these pure daisies and to make a pure daisy let's see you need to drop four petals in a petal apothecary we just made like that. So let's see. I need some cobblestone, some some of those. I don't know why I just clicked that. Okay. Enough about that. Let's go over here and make one real quick. Alrighty. Let's see, we need that. We need. I know I have one pedal. But let's take two of those. One of these. And. Let's use a pink pedal because you don't really use pink pedals too much, as far as I know. And what we're going to do is. Give me a second. There we go. So we need the petal. Pet. Pet. Yeah. I always misspell stuff, so I'm sorry. There we go. I'm just going to make two. You only need one, but I'll just make two now. And all this bad boy does is throw that down and grab a bucket, which I have no clue where my buckets are. Uh, 
I really need to get organized. There it is. My handy dandy bucket. Just grab some of that, throw that in there. And let's just put that down there so it gives me a little bit room to look over. And one, two, three, four. You just throw those in there and then you can see it in there. And if you for some reason screwed up and threw the one in there, you shift right click and you can take it back out. So now you want to grab a seed and throw the seed in there. And voila, pure daisy coolest thing ever and chicken just laid an egg on screen nice he must be shy so let's go over here and fix my pickaxe let's break this let's break this And go to bed, daytime, maybe the rain will stop. Okay. Now that we got a pure daisy. Let's see. I kind of want to set this up up there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So guys, let me cut here. I'm going to grab all the stuff I need, and then I'm going to go up top that mountain, clear out a little space, and that's where we're going to start the Botanica. Alright guys, be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. Took a little break. I cleared this spot off of this mountain that's right next to my base, as you can see. And I uh, just made this flat so we have some room. And I also made this gold chest just to throw some stuff in there that we might need and let me make a crafting station real quick like so then we can grab the pure daisy and the pure daisy is real easy to use all you have to do is let's see hmm Hmm. I start right here, and all you have to do is throw some wood around it. And I think it takes about a minute. This turns into the living wood, so let's give that a minute. Let's stack of crap right there. Let's throw that in there. Let's grab eight of these. Let's throw this down, throw this in there. Grab one of these. Let's uh, put it right here. We've got a bucket, so let's just grab a water. And this is going to keep going. Where's my book? And while that's working, we can actually make our first generating floor. Now with Botanica you use it's not power it actually uses mana as the power and to get this power you start off with the day bloom which gathers mana from the sun so during the daytime it gathers mana. Pretty good. Shows you how you should lay them and we need an orange petal, two yellows and a blue so let's get that that, that, and a light blue, light blue, and a light blue. And to turn these to petals, you just throw it in there and bam, boom. Bam, boom. Bam, boom. Then we need two seeds. And as you can see, bam, living wood. So let's get the pickaxe out. You can chop. Oh, you didn't see that. My mouse is acting a little funny right now for some reason. Let's throw this back down. And now let's surround it with stone. 
And you can tell it's working by the little white particles coming off it. So let's go back over here. Stand on top. Need one of those. One of those. Two of those. Boom. Dead bloom. So let's get another one. And let's do the same thing. Washa. And we'll just put them over here for now. Like so. All right. Now that we have day blooms, we need to make something known as Let me get the book out. Let's see if it's in here. Nope. I think it's on the this maybe. On in a while. Rod. I draw in a blank what it's called. That's great. Uh, man, I'm manipulation. I cannot think of what it's called. Holy smokes. It's got to be under this. Not here. I'll just make one. And I want it out of the green. You know what? Let's get one of these too. So you convert these to petals. And you can use any color petals. And you pretty much do this. One right there and one right there makes you a wand of the forest. That's what it was called. Okay. Now with the wand of the forest, you can actually actually see what this says. Unknown status. So if you right click it, the little bar shows that it's full. Now if you didn't have it, it doesn't say anything. But if you click it with your book in your hand, shift right click it it'll open the page to it and that goes for anything in Botanica which is an awesome little feature but we're gonna right click it with that and that one's full now what to do with that well that's what we made living stone for so let me gather some of this and I'm gonna need more of this living wood let me go to bed real quick <clears throat> and we're gonna need that but for right now I can show you what this does if you do that you make a diluted mana pool now for right now we don't have a mana spreader but for right now we can just throw that down we gotta wait for this to get converted also I just made up a little automated system to get living wood and living stone which is pretty cool and you don't use Steve's uh, factory manager which I always have a hard time using so my little setup I have there only uses some block breakers and block placers which I'm gonna show y'all hopefully today if not, I'll definitely do it in the next episode. So, this should be almost done. Let me throw these petals in there before I lose them. This is taking forever. Forever. There we go. Sweet. So, let's hurry up and grab this. Grab some more stone. Okay. I think we need a petal and a gold. And what we're going to make is a mana spreader. Is it like that? Or is it reversed? Okay, apparently I did it wrong. Mana spreader. 
Okay, it just doesn't have the one block right there. So let's do this again. There we go. Perfect. So you put the mana spreader down. Grab your wand of the forest. If you shift, right click it, you can change the modes. We need it in binding mode. And if you shift right click on the mana spreader and then shift right click on the diluted mana pool you see it moved and it's connected to there so what the mana spreader does it sucks the mana out of these plants like that holds it in here and then every once in a while we'll shoot a burst into this mana pool i usually like to just link them you don't really have to do it but i like it just because it looks decent and what you want to do is grab some of this let's see let's put some more living wood down there let's throw that and that in there let's grab the living rock and see these are fun but they don't hold that much mana so as you can see on my screen when you hold it over it it shows that there's not enough mana in this pool right here to convert this into a regular mana pool and the more flowers you add actually gathers more mana and I can make one more I'm going to do that real quick. Because the more flowers you have around it, the more mana is going to be produced. So you get faster production of mana, so forth. And uh, for right now, we're going to use these. But in the future, we're going to use different flowers to get mana. So there we go with a third day balloon. And just like the book said, you want to put them in a checkerboard pattern. You don't want to put them next to the other because they're not that efficient. And right click. And still not enough. Okay, guys, let me take a cut here and let this build up, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, this is a little fuller now. And if I scroll over it, you see the check mark means we can throw it in. So let's throw it in. And there you go. We have a mana pool. Now what the mana pool does, you can hold a lot more mana in it. So let's shift right click on that and on that. And as it just is, there you go. Perfect. Now, I'm going to let that go. But I want to try automating this with my little system I came up with. So, if we head back down, let me throw that stuff out of there. I've been working on this all day, but I think I figured out a way to automate this. So, let me go over here. Oh. A couple items we need is the block placer, which is this from open blocks, which is some redstone and some pistons. We need the block breaker, which is the project red expansion, which is the iron pickaxe and this and this. Not too bad, not too expensive. Then we would need some transfer nodes. Transfer these which I'm gonna make off I'm gonna make all this off camera so you don't have to sit here and watch me some alloy wire this beautiful stuff and a timer this beautiful piece of stuff right here and I think that's it maybe some filters from thermal expansion and I think that's it so let me make a cut here let me get all the resources I need 
and then we'll be right back. If I press the right button. Okay, guys, welcome back. All right, I got everything we should need to do this. Here's the block breakers and the placers that I was talking about. So let's start by laying those out. Let's see. We going to go like that? No, that's already wrong. This is going to be pain in the booty to do with the camera on. Let's see. Like that. And we want the breaker to face this way. This end is the part that's going to break. So whatever's in front of it's going to break. So then we need to put the same thing on this side. Oh guys, I screwed up big too. I actually shift clicked when I was making pick irons. Pick iron pickaxes. I actually made buku of them. And I already screwed this side up too. This is great. Alright, let's move these back. Right here. And actually I'm just going to leave those pieces of wood there. So these here, I'm going to drop them. Simple as that. Alrighty. And I forgot to make the transfer nodes. Shoot. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Let me go get those transfer nodes real quick. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. I went back and crafted them. So you slap these on there like so. Now, for the block placers, I believe you can just do them like this. And I'm trying to remember how I set this up. I did a crate whirl, creative whirl, and set this up kind of quick. And I don't remember how exactly I set it up. That's how pro I am, people. That's how pro I am. So let me just wing it. Uh, da, 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 that ain't gonna work. So let's go here. Yeah, that's good. Grab a timer and a repeater. Now, you probably don't really need a repeater, but I'm adding it anyway just because I want to let's see yep there you go and if I grab this chest real quick and throw it on top of there you see it places it all in there so that's great that works now I want to make some levers real quick I think you need cobblestone for that and I keep throwing stuff out what's up with that let me place two of these down, break them, and two sticks, cobble, lever. If you didn't know, level, emit a redstone signal, blah, blah. Emit a red signal into here, it stops the timer. So we can actually set this to, I like to set it to 120 which is about two minutes. Nah, let's just do that. So yeah, that's the first part. So now that we got that, we can put that, grab this. That's the wrong way. We want it that way. And then if we let go of this, see the timer goes, but we're not going to do that just yet. Alright. Now for this. Take the item duck. Run it in the middle. Take out filters. Next. 
throw them down like so. Now the way I set it up in the test world, I did wood on one side, whiteless, whiteless, and whiteless. And then on this side, we want stone on this side. Then make another chest. I don't know why, but I go through chests like it's nothing. And then on there, we want to add a and make that one always on. So whatever we put in here is going to be deposited into these. Now as for these, we want to grab the clay and fill this in because if not they'll just keep filling each other up until they fill all non-spots up. But with the clay in there, it actually can't fill all the spots up. And I ran out of clay. That's great. I'll just get fill the clay in later. Let me grab this. Like so. And hopefully I have enough. If not, I'm sorry guys. But hopefully y'all get what I'm doing. Let's go two more out. Three more out. And let's go there and there. Oh my god. Really? Can we use redstone? Okay. Sweet. So next we needed the repeater. Okay, cool. That connected. We need the timer. Now for this timer, I actually want to set it to every 20 seconds. And I don't need this one on the end. I'll put a lever right here. And for now, I'll just put some birch wood in here. Just to show a proof of concept. Sorry guys, this video is running a little long, but I kind of made this automation thing and I'm kind of proud of it. For once, I went and did it my way rather than copy Dire Wolf's Steve Manager thing. So, what you do here is. Oh, I just did that wrong, didn't I? Let's see. That one should have wood in it. No, it's supposed to have stone. Okay. So, let's take that out. Let's throw some stone in here. But, I don't like Steve Factory Manager. Yeah, it makes life easier programming and stuff. But, when you don't know how to really do it, there's got to be a way around it. And I think I found it. So, when you throw the stuff in there, it actually deposits in these machines, as you can see. Now it's probably depositing in the center one since it's the closest, but you get the point. So now, you don't want to miss the step. Oh my god, I'm having problems, people. Let's hit the switch. And hit the switch. Now when this one goes to this little red part right here, it should place blocks. Like so, I do not know why that didn't work. That's weird. Did it go in there? For some reason it went in there. Hmm. Peculiar. Let's see. 
Yeah, that one did it too. That's weird. Huh. Okay, guys. Let me work on this a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back, and I figured out the problem. The problem was I actually wired this line to this line. It's supposed to be separate. So now, as soon as that hits, it's going to hit all these, break all these blocks. Okay. If it ain't one thing, it's another people. Work with me, man. Work with me. So let's put that there. Let's Of course it's not going to work right. That's weird. It worked in a great world. getting a signal well guys this has been a long video let me work on this next episode will sh I'll show you this finished product and hopefully by then we'll have a full thing of this and we can make some items I've been wanting so I'm sorry for the long video guys and I hit the wrong video the wrong key but Thank you for joining me today. I hope y'all enjoyed doing a different mod today. Botanica is a pretty cool mod, and I hope y'all enjoyed too. So until next time, peace out.